In this video, I'm just going to show you guys how to change the conditional formatting in the calendar when you want to copy one month over uh, either to another tab or if you want to go from like vertical to horizontal. I'm going to show you how to change that. I have uh, the calendar over here. I'm just going to copy this over. I have it grouped to close it. I'm just going to copy over all of this. We will copy from cell 373 all the way to 413. Now I have November and that's because I have a formula in here based on the previous cell over here. I'm going to open this too. Now if you can see over here, October is correct. So I have 29 and 30. That is grayed out because that's not the current month. And then here I have this lighter teal for the weekdays and then I have the darker teal for weekends. And then on this calendar, I also included a week start. So if you change from Monday to Sunday, now it will change over here. So you can see it still highlights the weekend, but now Saturday is over here and the week is starting over here on Sunday. The conditional formatting is working on here. It's working in October, I can see it. Now November is all messed up because that's the one I copied over. When you copy over something with conditional formatting, Google Sheets kind of like group everything into the same conditional formatting. So what do you want to do? You want to separate them. So this is the October correct and this is the November incorrect. So let's go to format, conditional formatting. I'm going to select the October ones. So if you click outside of the cells, they have no conditional formatting. The only cells that have conditional formatting are the little numbers over here. Everything else in the spreadsheet does not have conditional formatting. Here you can see I have three different conditional formattings. Now remember, the conditional formatting sequence here matters. So this is the conditional formatting that's always going to show up, show up first, and then this one, and then this one. If you want something highlighted where there would be other conditional formatting in it, then you want it to be on top. So let's go fix the November calendar. So the October calendar is correct, but when you click over here, you can see the cells. In here, the only thing that it does is highlight in yellow when the date is today. If today was the 16, this will be yellow. So all we're going to do here, we want to separate a range that is applying to, because again, when you copy it over, Google Sheet grouped it. You can see here, this is B375, which is here. Okay, then you have D375, which is this one right here. Then you have F375, which is this one right here, and so forth and so on. So then it goes to N375, which is right here. And then the next group, next range of cells is B381. So B381 is here, and then D381, F381, and so forth and so on. Now when you go over here, November starts on B... 416 so then you're gonna look for b 416 over here and we're gonna split them so 416 so it starts over here everything so then it ends here on d 405 which is here d 405 this is the last one in the calendar which is correct now everything from here you can even copy from the comma so everything from here you're gonna highlight and control x or command x and you're gonna click, click down here and click add another row what the add another rule does is copy over all this conditional formatting, but then it may it lets you apply to a different set of cells. So let's click over here. It will still give me this, but then I'm going to select all of this, Control A or Command A. I'm going to delete that, and I'm going to just Control V the cells that I copied over from uh, the range before. So then. Because this, there's no other set formula over here, I can just leave this as is and just click done. So now, when you click over here and you click on date is today, you can go all the way to the end over here and it ends on 405 and you can click done. Now, if you click over here, you can see that this one copied over because now you have the first 416 and so forth and so on. So this is correct and we're going to move this up over here. Okay, you can don't delete these ones yet because if you delete this, remember this is grouped with October, so then it will delete the conditional formatting from October. All you gotta do, go back over here in October. Let's copy the second one, and again let's go find the four sixteen, and it's right here. I'm gonna 
copy all this, control X, add another rule. Once you add another rule on this one, let's delete this range and apply the new one that we just copied. You see that there's formulas over here. Now this formula, it's checking if the month B375, it's, where's B375? So it's here, B375, it's this one in October. So it's checking if this is different than the month in 381, which is over here. So if the month on the 375 is different, then it's going to gray out. So what you want to do on this one, because you don't want to reference October, you want to reference November. So all you have to do is change this from 375 to 476, uh, 416, and then B381, that would be the 422, 422, and just click done. Now, if you click over here, you will see that this one, it's still checking the month in 375, but then when you click over here, you can see that this one is checking the month in 416, okay? Now, last but not least, we're going to copy over this one over here. So let's click back in October and go over here and let's split the 416 is right here. Let's control X. Now, this one is just referencing weekday so it's referencing on b8 which b8 is right here so let me so open b8 so b8 is this one is just at saying if the weekday on b8 is one which means monday it's going to highlight this darker teal or if the weekday on b8 is seven which means sunday then it's going to also highlight teal so whatever day in this range of cells equals Sunday or Monday, it's it's going to highlight the darker. So this one, I don't have to change where it's referencing because of the way my calendar is structured. So I know that this column will always be Sunday and this column will always be Saturday if this is select the start on Sunday. If it's a Monday, then it's also going to highlight, but then it's going to move over here. So I don't have to change the reference over here. So let's go back to October. We're going to use this one. 4, 16, 416. Let's control X and then add another rule. Control A, delete, control V, just click done. Okay, now you have this over here and now you can see that this copied over and it's all you can see here starts at 416, 416, 416. Okay, and then this is referencing 416. This is referencing B8 which everything is correct. Now, if you go on the November calendar, you will see here that this is Saturday, it's highlighted darker. This is Sunday, it's highlighted darker. Now let's go check, this is November 25. So November 25 starts on a Saturday, which is right here. Calendar is correct. The conditional formatting is split. Now each uh, month has its own conditional formatting. Hope that helps.